Right guys, I was going to do uh, some videos on uh, fabrication of bodywork, but that takes too long. I might do a bit, a bit later on, but anyway, in the meanwhile, we've got this beauty! Just got picked it, just had it delivered today, and, um, oh sorry, yesterday, and uh, got a few engine issues, so I've got to take the engine out! So uh, anyway, watch this space, and we'll uh, see how things go! So, after struggling getting the front pulley off, getting the front tiny cover off, and all the bolts, I don't know whether you can see this. Yeah. Right behind the sprocket. Right there, you can see the other part of the nut. You can just see it. And you can't get it off. The camp has got to come out. You can't get the front pulley off. So, job's nagging. What we've got to do is take the fucking bloody wings off. <laughs> got to take the wings off in the end. So, oh well, well there's one thing. At least we'll be able to get the engine bay nice and pretty. Right, so that didn't go as bad as we thought actually. I wish we'd have uh, realised that and done that in the first place. But, Hey ho, tried to cut corners and it didn't work. Not that I knew we were cutting corners because I didn't think you had to set the wings off to get the engine out, but well, there you go. So uh, next stage, engine out and um, find out what's wrong with it. Well, we found out what the problem is. Probably a cracked head. It's supposed to have had the head done, but I guess it's not been done properly. As you can see on the corrosion there, the problem is, it's left the engine with the water in the cylinder. So, looks like we're going to have to reboil. Well, man. I think, uh, this is the sump, and I think this is what probably led to the demise of the engine. Ew! Guess that hasn't been serviced in a while. Yummy! <laughs> 